here in the Leicester Curve for the first performance of Play Without Words. Well, I brought it back this time. Uh, I wanted to revive it because it's our 25th anniversary of our company. I guess one of the most unique pieces I've ever done. It's based on a film called The Servant the Dirk Bogard film, and it's set in the 1960s, and it's about uh, a young guy who hires a manservant and what that does to his life. It's a piece on kind of uh, social uprising and class being overturned with kind of uh, using sex, sexual manipulation. Yeah, and... absolutely, absolutely. It's about sexual emancipation, a lot of it, certainly for Glenda's elements of that, for the Glenda character. Um, she is somebody who's obviously led quite a sheltered, closeted life and is actually not typical of a woman of the 60s, whereas the other character, Sheila, is very typical of the 60s. And um, I think it, it shows a lot about a, a, time, a time of great change, in England especially, I think. The main difference with this, as opposed to the uh, New Adventures and Matthew Bourne shows, is that uh, the performers have to play very convincing characters and uh, be able to tell quite complicated stories without any words, and play without words. And I think that's, uh, that's the interesting thing about it, and that's the challenge of it. And watching some of these new young performers be able to create really quite sophisticated characters has been thrilling to me. The unique and exciting things about Play That Words for me, with it, the cast is so small, so it's a really tight-knit, close group. You know, it's a really nice atmosphere to work in. Um, the live jazz band on stage is fantastic. The music really came from um, the jazz composers of the era that I really loved and went, I did a bit of research and found a few that I hadn't come across before. And there was a lot of jazz starting to be written for film music of that time, particularly new wave British cinema in the 60s. And the way that the music fits the action is very filmic. It's, and Terry worked a lot in movies anyway, but particularly with the whole idea of Matt's setting this in the 60s based around the servant, it's all very much part and parcel of the same, the same artistic ideals, I think. Somehow it works and the audience gets drawn into it and it's a very sort of mesmerising experience to, be, to see this piece. It's almost like watching a dream in some ways, but it's funny, um, it's sexy, very sinister, I would say. The imagination and the staging, the sets and everything, they were just... Uh, I think it's just the just, little just, touches, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's just wonderful. It's absolutely brilliant. Bath Bourne is absolutely fantastic. The way you just captured all the theatre of the whole performance, absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, absolutely, absolutely, brilliant. absolutely brilliant. We enjoyed it so much that we brought some friends tonight to see it because it's so good, you can't miss it. It's brilliant. We are blown away completely, so it's an amazing show. Um, the way they move, the way they depicted different versions of what was happening, um, the way that it was choreographed, uh, the whole thing was just, it just blew your mind. Incredible, never seen anything like it before.